So, three new dinosaurs were discovered last week. Uh, two carnivores and a plant eater. Everyone knows carnivores are cooler, so we'll concentrate on those. Uh, both were about the size of elephants and roamed what is now Africa. One tore its prey limb from limb, and the other scavenged carcasses. Okay, here's the fun part. This will be like a uh, Pictionary. The limb terror dinosaur was called Eocarcaria dinops. All right, now, try and guess what it means. No. Fierce-eyed dawn shark. All right, the other one, the scavenger, it's easier. Um, Cryptops palaios. Okay, it's an old face, and I'm control aching to hide it. Old hidden face. You know, you could really try hard. Hey, 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 whoa, okay. You know, no need to get... Don't like the cool dinosaurs. Next story. Fun, fun camping time in the wilderness. Nice, good. Uh, maybe a little bit too much fun, actually. Yeah, and they're all wearing the same t-shirts. I don't like that. Um, hmm. Serious and bewildered. Very serious and bewildered. I don't know. Hmm. Ah... Uh, no, uh-uh. This guy's like Paul Janka. Come on, Christy, you're late for the meeting. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm in the middle of some work here. No, I'm serious. Researchers used the website hotornot.com, and I've never been to it before now because I had to come to it, but uh, to do a psychology study on dating preferences. Among the Valentine's Day revelations, it turns out that uh, we tend to like someone a little hotter than ourselves. Also, the hotter you are, the more nitpicky you'll be about what constitutes hot hotness in everyone else. And while men tend to prize physical attractiveness more than women, surprise, surprise, they tend to be pretty clueless about their own attractiveness. Hmm, five, maybe six. Get to the chopper! <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Anyway, uh, the journal Science just put out this huge heat measuring plus 16 other factors um, satellite maps showing the combined impact of human activity on the world's oceans. Um, okay, we can turn this off now. All right, good. So how much of the Earth's oceans are we screwing up? Pretty much all of it. That uh, dirty pea color you see over most of the globe um, represents medium to high impact, and the red represents the worst, highest impact. Um, and the, the blue parts are untouched. That's pretty much just the poles, though. Apparently the two anthropogenic stressors most responsible for all this are climate change and overfishing. See? Get it? The whole predator thing? Get overfish. Oh god, we're screwed. Remember that old board game, Operation? You know, the one that crushed your childhood dreams of going to medical school and becoming a surgeon. Well, those folks at Milton Bradley were way ahead of their time. Scientists at the University of Calgary have recently constructed a virtual patient for research and training purposes. They used anatomy texts and tissue specimens to render a 3D model of every physical feature and system in the human body. Ten times more detailed than any other simulation. The researcher's next step is to add tactile sensors to the patient. Um, at which point, they might as well just call the thing Operation. Careful where you point that. Oh, you lost. 